You only manifest what you feel worthy of receiving. This is a key point to always remember. A lot of our manifestation experiences, growth, achievements, or lack of is linked to our self-image and our sense of self-worth. And it's patterns that can create a lot of self-sabotage, a lot of subconscious resistance, a lot of pattern that make us not create and achieve what we want simply because at a subconscious level we don't feel worthy of having that thing or we haven't met the strategy of what will need to happen for us to feel worthy of getting that thing. And a lot of times when I see people not achieving or being stuck on certain plateau, not being able to go to the next level, is because they at the subconscious level don't think they're worthy or more than already what they have. And so as long as you are not aligned with a higher level of self-worth for everything that you desire right now, you will have resistance and resistance will come in your reality to show you that you don't have it and that you don't deserve it and that it's not working for you. So if you struggle with these kind of things, I strongly encourage you to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to give you a super simple process that you can use to uncover your strategies to feel worthy, but also the pattern of unworthiness that may be present at the subconscious level and that may be present in holding you back from getting what you want. So stay until the end because it's a powerful process that can really make a difference in your life. So let's go. And if you're new to this channel, I want to take a second to thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. It helps a lot. I love all of you for watching and sharing those videos. It means a lot. So let me know what you think always in the comment. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer or help if I can. Now, let's get into this important topic, shall we? There is tremendous importance if already feeling worthy of what you want now. And once you can do that, you'll see just how effortlessly things can unfold in your life. And that if certain things are not unfolding in your life flawlessly and easily, it means that somehow, on some level, you are creating it and you are projecting it. Because everything around you is always your reflection, is always something somehow that you've created, that you co-created on some level. And so if you're not getting what you want, always ask yourself, how did I create this? And if I look back at my earlier life when I, was, when I just started my coaching business and started to become self-employed, I had a lot of self-unworthiness subconsciously that was holding me back. And the challenge of this is that it was making me feel very pressured, very um, tense, very guilty, very anxious, very worried, very much needed to be in control because all my sense of self-worth was entangled with success, achievement, money, proving myself, being independent, and hard work, hustling, and making it kind of thing. And so when you start up and you are not making much money and you're struggling and you don't know what's coming next, you can very much, very fast feel like you're a fucking failure. <laughs> and that triggered just a lot of fear in me. And it brought that unworthiness, that self-devaluation to the surface for me to be able to become aware of it and to heal it. But the way it manifested was with tremendous guilt and tremendous anxiety whenever I was not doing anything, whenever I was taking some time off, whenever I wasn't like busy or productive, I would feel restless. I would feel like guilty for not working, for not hustling, for not putting the hours, the effort, not getting the result, not making the money, not talking to clients. So it was tremendously pressuring that need, that obsession to achieve, to prove myself, to catch that word, to prove myself, to prove myself to my parents that I'm doing the right thing, to prove myself to other people and to myself that I'm, I did the right thing, that I can make it, that I'm not going to be a burden, that I'm not going to have to rely on other people. So all of this was showing me my own feelings toward myself. I didn't want to be a burden, meaning I felt like a burden on some level. I felt that my self-image and my sense of you know, self-worth was strongly linked to money. Like for a lot of people in this society, it's all about success, money, achievement. And if you look at social media, which is a beautiful way to, to, to observe dynamics that happen in a society, you'll see that a lot of 
things that people chase, whether it's a big car, the big thing, the big this, the money, the fame, the status, the followers, it's all about making it, them feel good about themselves. We all need that feeling of importance, that feeling of significance. And a lot of our strategy, a lot of the thing we do consciously or subconsciously is to get that feeling. Yeah? That's why you see so many people who are willing to go to extreme things in their life to get a few likes, to get a few comments, to get a, few, a little bit of attention. And that just shows that their strategy for feeling important, significant, worthy is external. And that is danger because you're not in control of what's external. Because that is, ironically, your own perception. Because that is, ironically, your own projection. So you are in control, but not as long as you perceive it outside of you. Only until you recognize it that this has been created by you, but inside of you. If that makes sense. So those feelings of unworthiness was creating a lot of problems in my life. And I give you this example so that you can understand how entangled all those subconscious strategy we have about feeling worthy. And I remember growing up, uh, you know, with my parents, it was all about you have to work hard, right? You have to hustle, you have to sacrifice, uh, you have to put on the long hours, you have to make sure you do all the right thing and eventually you get the reward. So it was all about delaying success kind of now kind of thing, sacrificing now for our hope and uh, um, reward in the future somehow. You know, you, you retire, get the gold watch, blah, blah, blah. And that is like a lot how maybe a lot of people grew up because of society, because of the rule, because of the influence, because of the paradigm that my parents had and people around me. And this subconsciously, you know, create those strategy that we need to have in order to attain certain things. In order to feel I deserve it, I need to do this. In order to feel like I'm worthy, I need this, 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 you know, all these kind of things. We have strategies, things that need to happen. And again, you can see that to our own projections. When people see other people getting something or getting lucky or they didn't deserve to be so successful or it's easy for them because it's been given to them by their parents. All of those comments that judgment, that envy, that belittling, devaluating other people is a projection that tells them that in order to feel worthy of getting that, that nice car, that nice job, that big watch, that nice life, you need to work it out. You didn't work hard enough to deserve that. You're just lucky and it's going to leave you or you don't deserve it. Or You get that thing? It's so common. It's so subtle. It's very easy to miss out. But if you listen to people, how they complain to what other people who have what they don't have and how they're lucky or they don't deserve it because of X, Y, Z, they'll show you their own belief system at play. And it's the very same belief system that's holding them back to reach the next level because as long as they remain consistent with those beliefs, I need to work out, I need to sacrifice, I need to struggle, I need to mm -hmm, fill the gaps, they will have to live by that because we always want to remain consistent with our self-image and our subconscious programs because we live what we believe. So this is a little bit of backstory so that you understand how your self-worth is directly entangled with your manifestation. So if you feel like this is the amount of money that you're worthy of making right now for whatever reason, and this you're not worthy, or for you to be worthy of that, you need to work harder or you need to sacrifice or you need to go in pain or you need to do certain things, you will have to do those things or you will have to forfeit that goal and remain here because you don't want to go through the pain. That's just one example of how this can happen. For you to have that perfect relationship, if you don't feel worthy of love for whatever reason, because uh, you know, people have different stories, different reasons, different things, but if you're not feeling worthy of love right now because you're feeling you're, not, you're too fat or not ugly or you're know, too ugly or blah, 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 guess what's going to happen? You're not going to get that level of relationship, you're only going to get that level of relationship that you feel worthy about right now. So your sense of worthiness is your responsibility because people around you may be able to see the light in you, God in you. But if you're not able to see the beauty when you look in the mirror, there is very little that other people can do. They can invite you to change your perspective like maybe I'm doing right now. 
but I cannot make you change your perspective. That is for you to choose whose master you're going to serve right now. Are you going to serve the unworthy belief pattern or are you going to see yourself as totally, completely worthy of everything you want? So my next point is that you really have to create that image of yourself that is worthy of everything you desire in your life right now, already as you are. Not because you go to church, not because you read Never Goddard, not because you meditate, not because of your good karma, not because you were a good, bad girl, whatever, or good boy or whatever, but simply because you are worthy and you do not need to prove your self-worth and you do not need to justify why you're worthy of having it, being it, living it, doing it. You are worthy, dot, over, finish, nothing, no, end of the book. You need to come to that state because anything else, any form of justification is a limitation. So it's a working process, okay? You, you, if, you, if you're far away from there, I don't know where you are on your journey, but if you are on your journey, that's okay, we all are. But simply go to this exercise I'm about to give you because it can give you tremendous amount of self-awareness and tremendous amount of power over how you see yourself right now and give you the step to change that. So the exercise about, I'm about to give you can really be a catalyst for change, a catalyst for you to uncover your subconscious programs, your subconscious strategy that define your sense of worthiness, that can allow you to really go deep and let your subconscious mind bring out what those beliefs and strategy are so that you can clear them out and step into a new sense of worthiness that comes from something greater than your ego need. Okay? That comes from who you really are and not from your construct identity ego self. And that is the key. The way you do it is that you grab a piece of paper, all right, and you take as long as you need. This is not just a 10, 5 minute process where you lazy ask your, the, you know, the, the answer and you do it superficially. No, this is about going deep. This is about setting an intention that you're going to go deep and that you're going to let your subconscious mind give you exactly how things are. And you're not going to judge it and you're not going to, uh, you know, react to it and you're not going to blame or beat yourself up. You're just going to allow it to come up so that you can observe it and so that you can let it go. And the process is very simple. You take a piece of paper and you're going to write down the answer to a few statements. And the first statement that I want you to write down is this. I am worthy when, and then dot, 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 and you write whatever comes to mind. And you write as much, as long as answers are coming to your mind. And the key is to go beyond the superficial level that you have and to keep writing, to not judge anything, to not ask where or why it comes from, but simply come and put it on paper. So for example, you may be feeling like, I am worthy when I work hard when I do good things, when I have money, when I am uh, helping other people, when I am this and that. Those are all strategies. Those are all rules that you have about your worthiness. But if you have to be true to yourself and let the truth come out, okay? So the first thing, I am worthy when. Then after you empty the bag there, I want you to go to, I am not worthy when. I don't have money, I do something bad. I look this way, I have this or that. And then I want you to go, being worthy means dot, 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 and fill up the gap. Being worthy means having money. Being worthy means being independent. Next one, not being worthy means dot, 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 empty the bag. And the last one, to feel worthy of having or being X, Y, Z. This is where you put your gold. So maybe if you have a money goal or having a relationship goal or if you have whatever you want to create in your life right now, you put it in the X, Y, Z. So to feel worthy of having, I need to fill the gap and let it come out. It's a very simple exercise. I hope that makes sense. I, I'm going to write it on the videos and I want you to just empty the bag. And then when you finish, take an hour, take your time. This is so worth it. I want you to look at the common pattern you see in those four or five statements. Because if you do this right, you will see a pattern. And then you can go to your answers 
and underline everything that brings up some form of pattern, everything that brings up any form of strong negative emotion, everything that brings up some form of negative association to being worthy of things you have to do in a certain way. And I want you to relate that to your life right now and how this is affecting your past manifestation and your present and how it's going to affect your future manifestation. And now, once you have this on paper, you have an opportunity to let that go. And I have a lot of resources on this channel, whether it's the letting go technique or the revision, to clear this up and choose that you're no longer going to remain subconsciously attached to the old strategy of being worthy, but that you can be worthy now. And it's your duty from a place of love and compassion to assert and affirm and see yourself as a worthy being, worthy of receiving everything you want right now for no reason. And when you can come from that place of acceptance, you will see things will start to flow out toward you easily and effortlessly. And this is where life gets so freaking good. So I hope this video makes sense. Guys, do this process. Let me know what you think in the comment. If you have any form of question, ask me. And I hope you enjoy this process. I hope you have the breakthrough you want. And remember, you are worthy. I'll see you next time. Be well.